it means that the plant is thirsty she's thirsty she needs water she needs hydration okay welcome back i'm just going to give you a few care tips just something to help you get you on your way first tip i would give you is leave her alone leave them alone they are very low maintenance they do not need a bagger look after you don't need to i mean yeah talk to them care for them yes however they don't like water so too much water will cause the roots to rot which is why we went through the whole thing of getting you know the soil just right for her so that she can drain out so one way to know if your if you're over watering um your aloe vera is if you see like brown spots coming up on the leaves that that, that tends to be an indication that you know there's too much water going on with your aloe vera my advice would be to let it completely dry out so after repotting after replanting um your aloe vera don't add any water to it leave it for maybe four or five days just as it is so that the wounds can completely heal and callus over so, and dry up you know within the soil so that you can prevent root rot fungus growing you know decay etc so she liked that so we won't put any water in it as well as for your baby pups in summer i tend to water her maybe once a week because I, I, as I said, I allow it to completely drain out. So you fill it with water, let everything run out. And once everything is run out, you put it back in its position and she's good to go. In winter, sometimes good girl goes like two months without needing any water because she's happy as she is. She doesn't need so much water in winter, right? So as I said, just let her be um she's very content you know talk to her etc but just you know ease off the watering and the fertilizer you don't need to give her really any kind of fertilizer as it is oh, well, i don't people do but i don't because she doesn't really need it tip is with water again you can underwater your aloe vera however even if you do underwater it is easy for it to come back because what happens is I'm not sure if you can see them see if I can find one okay here if you find one where the leaves are kind of concave they're not as plump as this it means that the plant is thirsty she's thirsty she needs water she needs hydration that means that it's being underwater and that is possible with aloe vera so if you see the leaves aren't thin, they, you don't have a lot of the gel inside of it, it, that's because it's using up all the water reserves in its roots and in its leaves. And that's a, that's a, a very good indication that it's it needs more water, especially when it's like soft and jelly. For lighting, now she loves the light. She's always finding her light, she's always glowing, right? However, even though she likes bright lights as you can see right here she's actually under some grow lights right now inside the aloe vera does not like direct sunlight she will burn she gets sunburnt so whether you're growing it indoor or outdoor i would suggest maybe a partial shade area if it's outside where it's getting enough of the bright light but it's not under the direct sun so the leaves won't burn if you're growing your aloe inside you can place it um in an area where it's bright enough so like a windowsill or um a balcony door however try not to put it up against the balcony door or whatever glass window because the light intensifies through the window and it gets very hot and it will scorch the leaves so how to tell if your plant is getting too much light is when it starts to turn like a reddish brownish color that means that it has it's been under too much direct sunlight how to know if your plant is getting enough light if it isn't getting enough light maybe like this one I mean, you will see it's like a pale green like compared to this the bottom is pale 
which means that it's not getting enough sunlight. It doesn't have that rich green color. This could also mean, the coloring could also mean that it gets too much sunlight too quickly. So if you have it in a more shaded area, then you decide to put it in a place where it's brighter sunlight, the coloring may get like a, like a light green, neon green on you. And that's an indication as well that it's either low light or too much sunlight too fast. The best time to repot your aloe vera is during spring or summer. During the cooler months, autumn and winter, it goes into dormancy and it will, it will kind of maybe go into too much shock if you harvest and try to, to repot it then. And as I said, just give her love, give her care, you know, her bright light, enough water to survive, and then you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think, and hit the notification button because we will be having an upcoming video of me showing you how I propagate my aloe vera and how I replant and care for these pups. Thank you so much again for watching. Later.